Hi, John here. Davy Jones's sword. This is going to be a fun one. Once again, reference is key. There is actually very little reference for Davy Jones's sword. The sword he fights with at the end of Pirates 3 is actually Norrington's sword and not his own. I did find a few shots though, which was enough to go off. Using similar techniques to how I modelled Davy's chest, I knocked up a 3D model in Maya. Back to our same old problem, how large is his sword? From other research, I believe Davy's belt to be 2.5 inches wide, so we can use that to get a rough idea. I am a few inches taller than Bill Nye, and let's be fair, sometimes you just need to stand in front of a camera and guess using a tape measure. So we'll use that technique as well. The belt scale method resulted in a 100 centimetre sword, whereas the standing in front of a camera method resulted in 110, something like that. So I tried both. I scaled the sword accordingly in Photoshop, printed out a paper template, and then cut a very simple version out of cardboard. So at this point, I have already made quite a lot of the costume very crudely. It's all about size, scale and proportion, nothing more. There is no point in making anything final until it all, all the various parts work together. I spent weeks and months adjusting, sizing, trying out new ideas, trying to figure out how to make the crab leg look convincing, the coral reef leg, how long is the coat, how thick is his belt, the amount of times I pricked my bloody finger with a sewing needle. Yes, it looks pretty terrible, but it's all the right size and, and that's what counts. Same goes for the sword. I tried a few different sizes looking in the mirror and in the end I went with somewhere in between, about 106 centimetres. It could have been a little longer, but walking in that crab leg is tricky and I just don't want to risk tripping. So I'm happy with a slightly, with a marginally shorter sword. I roughly milled it out of MDF next. Seeing the sword in 3D before I made it properly is always a sensible thing to do. I once again tried it with my costume and yeah, it, it looked good. Starting to make the final thing, I 3D printed the various handle and scabbard sections out of PLA plastic. My 3D printer may not be the most up to date, but it gets me what I need. Clean off the excess plastic on the back, glue them together with super glue and cover and fill with P38. Mold these pieces in silicon and cast in two parts polyurethane resin. Same as always, equal part A and part B by weight. Once cured, demold. Cast them twice, glue together, more P38, primer paint and wet and dry, and the masterpieces are starting to come together. That extra wiggly line that, if you look at reference, there is something there, was done in clay before moulding. Moving on to the scabbard, Davy's sword never comes out of its scabbard in the film, so my sword and scabbard will be one piece. I've broken up the scabbard into printable sections like I did with the handle, 3D printed them as before, I only did one half like the handle, um, as the other side will just be another cast. Moulded and cast once again in two part polyurethane resin, and this is where I'm at. Still a lot of sanding and finishing to go, but it's getting there. I'm really looking forward to getting this cold cast and covered in barnacles in my next video. See you then.